Hello and welcome to day 19 of Vlogmas and the last day of my work as well which is absolutely fantastic. Very very happy about that. Um, so I just thought I'd very quickly share with you. I'm going to just move my camera so you can see. I'm sharing a little cuddle here at the moment with the gorgeous Lottie who is very old and very tired and just enjoying a little snug here on the settee. I'm not going to lie, I'm quite enjoying it too. <laughs> so there you go, put the Christmas tree back in, make it all festive. Um, so I have got home today, I am here on my own. My girls have all spent the day at their nanny and granddad's today helping them decorate their house and make it all very festive and all very lovely and they're now having an evening meal with them so I'm here on my own my husband's office is moving this week you know just before Christmas perfect time for moving offices obviously <laughs> so he's still there doing all the moving and shifting and lifting and sorting of files and all that kind of thing so I'm here on my own so I got home from work at about quarter to five and I made a cup of tea and I still hadn't eaten that chocolate from the Beyond Pink Door um, advent calendar so I had a little bit of that and then the lady who was going to be doing my nails tonight messaged me to say actually got a space a bit earlier are you able to come earlier I was like oh yeah absolutely that's fine now just show you what I had done I was thinking Christmas it's got to be red got to be red and sparkly and I am wondering whether I should have still gone and done that but when I got there there was a, a nail varnish on the table that she hadn't quite put away yet that um was a gorgeous colour and I saw it and I just went oh I really like that so I haven't actually gone red and now I'm wondering whether I should have I don't know should I show you what I've had done I've got this really dark sparkly purple I don't think that is giving it justice enough really what I've got done it is it's got a real can you see it's got like a real glitter in it and it's almost slightly iridescent which is not picking up on the camera at all but i'm quite pleased with it and they are very sparkly i'm just now wishing i had red no no i'm not no i'm not i do love them i do love them <laughs> But I do love red nails as well. I'll have red next time. It's fine. Anyway, I thought I would share with you. I got today a, my secret Santa. I was meant to go um, to work last week and we were doing a whole exchange of presents and all the rest of it. And I bought somebody something and, and dropped it off to the school. But obviously I wasn't very well. So I didn't actually end up having my secret Santa and it got dropped onto my desk today but I didn't even see who dropped it up there one moment I was doing something and I turned around and it was just there I was like oh that really is secret Santa like proper secret Santa vibes <laughs> and I have no idea who bought it for me but the girls in white said to me oh open it now open it now and whoever it was obviously knows that I sew and they have very kindly bought me a set of threads which I think might be from Hobbycraft does it say Hobbycraft on it Yes, Hobbycraft. So a set of multicoloured threads. So there's like, goodness knows how many in there. 27 spools of cotton. So really lovely. So every colour you can imagine in there. Obviously, there's ones in the middle as well, which you can't see. Um, but yeah, really lovely. So that was absolutely fantastic. But the thing that I most loved, oh, I'm so delighted with this. Right, I'm going to try and read this backwards while I'm showing it to you. They got me a coaster that says, Ooh. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but this fabric is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, <laughs> let us sew, let us sew, let us sew. Oh, I just love that. I hope that you can see that my light is really shining on it. But I was just like that. Oh, someone has really thought that through buying that for me and I, I'm, I'm really delighted with it it really tickled me when I opened that up so yeah how lovely is that really really like it oh there you go that's a bit better isn't it can you see it properly now gorgeous isn't it so yeah so I opened that up very delighted with that so before I open up my advent calendars oh I will share with you what I'm wearing but I'm sure you can see what I'm wearing I'm wearing South Bank sweater dress, Nina Lee patterns in the black jacquard kind of jersey or quilted jersey fabric um it's one of my favorite dresses to wear in the winter it's just really easy to wear 
it's got a stand-up collar but it's not tight to the neck and it's just comfortable and it's the right size and I like the shape of it etc etc it's just it's just a firm favorite in my wardrobe and I'm sorry it's not very exciting because I'm not sharing with you anything new so sorry about that but it's been really really cold today so I have worn this and felt lovely and snuggly all day so that's great. Um, so before I carry on and I open up my advent calendars, I just wanted to say a really big thank you to a couple of different ladies and, um, that I have I know that have mentioned me on their vlogs, either because they've been doing Vlogmas or they've been doing a version of their own Vlogmas. So just to say a really massive thank you to Cara, who is so, so mad, who mentioned me on her 12 Outfits of Christmas. And if you haven't watched Cara, which I can't believe that you wouldn't have because she's just such a delight and so lovely, please do go and watch her. And please do, in particular, go and watch Yesterday's, which I think because she's doing the 12 days of Christmas, so it's a bit different. So I think it's her day six and she sings, she sings at the end of it and it's really funny and she just cracked me up so much. <laughs> so please do go and watch her. Obviously the very lovely Karen, who is so little time um, and is a dear friend of mine and we've been exchanging our advent calendars. So yes, thank you very much Karen as well for mentioning me and also to Beck, who is what Beck sews on YouTube and Instagram, who has been doing Vlogmas and who made the most gorgeous um, sweatshirt yesterday. And I can't wait to watch today's actually because she has be making a Billy sweatshirt out of this gorgeous fabric. She's been having a bit of a problem with her overlocker, um, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what that looks like today because she's used this fabric with a really big flower on it. And I think that's gonna look really nice rather than having like a constant pattern. It's just gonna have like these really big flowers on it, which I think will look nice. Anyway, I digress. But thank you very much to Beck as well for mentioning me on her vlog. Now, there are so many people doing Vlogmas and Cara started this thing about mentioning people who are doing vlogmas because there are so many different creators out there who are providing us with different content whether that's vlogmas or just ordinary vlogging in terms of you know sewing content and um you know that that kind of thing there's so much out there and so many people don't get mentioned and i really want to make sure that i include those people now what I've decided to do is to mention nobody else other than those ladies that I know have mentioned me, not for any other reason other than I don't want to leave any, anybody out. There is nothing worse than feeling like you've been left out and that's it's a horrible feeling. So I would really appreciate if you could mention in the comments people that you watch, big channels, small channels, different channels, channels that are not from the country particularly that you watch, but channels that you really enjoy watching. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together a list in the next two days. I can't do it for tomorrow, but in the next two days, and I'm going to write a list and I'm going to comprise it of all the people that have been mentioned on other people's channels, all the ones that you mentioned in my comments as well. And I'm going to try and put together a really comprehensive list of people that are out there to vlog so that you guys may be able to find a new person that you enjoy watching, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if you have a moment, please do just mention in the comments below who you like to enjoy watching. And you can put on there um, vloggers or sewing YouTubers that you like to watch that aren't doing Vlogmas, that's absolutely fine too. And that would be great. And let's, let's just sort of help the sewing community and the sewing YouTube community build their following and provide more content for everybody out there. I think that all makes sense. <laughs> so enough about that for a moment. I'm going to get on with opening my presents from today in my advent calendar. So today in Beyond the Pink Door is a actual gift and that is day 19 because we're on the 19th of January. So this is a flat gift. <coughs> Excuse me. I've still got this silly pot. Won't go. So it's on a piece of card but what's in the middle feels a little bit soft. I'm going to say this is some sort of label. Oh, this could be a pack of labels. That's what my guess is going to be. Right, let's open this up. Let's see. Very exciting. Ooh, da, 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 da. 
Oh, it's not a pack of labels. <laughs> oh, something very, very lovely. It is a pack of buyer's tape from the gorgeous, um, oh, Specky seamstress. <laughs> I completely lost my mind there. And who it was, Laura, I was going to say Becky. Laura from the Specky Seamstress and the bias tape is pink or the one that I've got is pink there might be different ones and it says make today all about you and then it's got hearts on it oh look at that isn't that gorgeous can you see that hopefully the shine isn't too much on there oh that's so pretty I really really like that I love that gorgeous 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 I love that I bias tape isn't something I ever really think about getting Whereas, say, like Karen, who is so little time, she uses bias tape a lot. So she's she's actually got a subscription from the lovely Laura um, from the Specky Seamstress. And she gets a subscription once a month with the bias tape in, etc. It's just not something I really give a thought to, bias tape. But when I do receive it, I think, oh, that's actually really lovely. And then I, you know, have it to use on different things, which is really nice just to finish off necklines or hems or things like that so yeah really lovely thank you and I bet Karen will love this gift <laughs> so on to my gift from Karen so what have we here this is teeny tiny teeny tiny gift and again a piece of card I reckon and I'm gonna go with a patch of some sort a sew on patch maybe should we open it should we see so yes Angela get on and open it stop trying to get it and just open it it's like that do you ever do that thing when the phone goes who's that well I don't know just answer it and some you'll know who it is <laughs> stop guessing who's that calling us at this time of night that's what I normally say Ooh, what's this? What is this? Oh, now, there isn't anything on here to say who this is from in terms of company. I don't think there's anything else in the packaging. But I'm going to take a guess, and I'm sure Carol will put me right if, if I'm wrong. But I think this is from the Specky Seamstress as well. How funny. This is... A leather patch, so I'm smelling it to see, see what it smells like. A leather patch which says made by me. Again, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that very well. Can you see that? Made by me. Oh, that's lovely. Now, I really want to make some nice trousers, not necessarily jeans, but almost jeans like type trousers. Something like that would be lovely to have this stitched on, wouldn't it? That's absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much, Karen. And thank you so much, Andrea and the Specky Seamstress. That's absolutely brilliant. I'm going to take a guess and say this is from the Specky Seamstress. But Karen, put me right. Is it? Let me know. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Now, I'm not going to sign off completely there. I'm going to come back to you a little bit later because I got lots and lots of my Estelle dress sewn last night and I'm hoping to do a huge amount more of it today or tonight um, so that I can show you. And when I do, I will update you, show you what I've done and um, hopefully tomorrow I can finish it because I really want to wear it on Christmas Day. So I'll be back in a bit. Bye. Hiya. So I just thought I would... Um, come in with Katie. I don't think you see Katie a huge amount. I know you've seen Ellen and you've seen Amy with her knitting um, but Katie does quite a bit of embroidery yeah. and you've done that just off of your own back really haven't you? You just picked it up from the yeah. stuff? Well I picked it up during Covid with, from some kits and things that I have and then yeah watching videos and seeing posts and things. Yeah and you've done quite a bit of embroidery haven't you? Yeah. What, what sort of things have you embroidered? Um, so I've done some things on clothing, I've done <coughs> some things just on hoops as gifts for people and I've also done things, for example, I've done my own apron and I've done um, like cushion covers and things like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh and you embroidered your denim jacket once as well, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Because it had splashes on it so you sort of embroidered flowers Over on the stains. splashes and then did like a big motif on the back yeah. which was lovely. Yeah. But tell, tell, tell everybody about what you're making for Amy. So. Amy does know about this already because she asked me for it, but she would like, she, I embroidered my own apron 
using um, a pattern that she actually gave me because she gave me a book of embroidery patterns and ideas of what to embroider last year for Christmas and she said she'd quite like her own apron so um, I've got one it's blue and today I've started drawing on what exactly it is I'm going I don't know if you can see very well what I'm going to embroider she just wants some little wildflowers and mushrooms and things along the hem I've only done half of the hem so I need to draw on the other half also gonna have potentially some on the strings but that might I might I might run out of time for doing that and there are all, there's also some pockets on the apron so I'll try and embroider something bigger on onto each pocket I think that's upside down but yeah so that should be nice um yeah and did you say what colors she wanted she wants them so the apron is like a a blue but not a bright blue so she's gonna do it in neutral yeah it's quite a neutral blue so we could do it in like um kind of neutrally beiges with the odd pop of pale colors like pale pink and pale yellow and pale blue stuff like that and a bit of white oh, i think that's nice. going to look absolutely stunning and obviously so. <coughs> excuse me it's not for christmas it's for her birthday so it's going to be a little while yet but um when um when katie has finished it i'm sure you won't mind if we share that as well and i've just realized while you're talking you've actually got a me made on as well haven't yeah. you so katie has got on a true bias nico top that i made her quite some time ago so i made my dad a t-shirt out of this fabric ages and ages ago and um had some left over and made you that and it's quite a nice thick sort of warm cozy yeah cozy version of it isn't it yeah it's so. one of my favorite tops to wear in the winter <laughs> anyway i thought you'd quite like to see that as something a little bit different that uh, that's crafty as well hiya okay so i have got most of this sewn up now it's inside out so you can't really see it but i've got the sleeves on i haven't done the neck yet i need to sew that down and um, now what you can't see I'm going to try and hold this up now, <laughs> is that is the tie, but obviously it's inside out. So it just looks like a great big po weird pocket on the front at the moment. Um, but I have this side here to sew down. This side is all sewn down and the tie is all attached. And I've done the long version. I've left one slit. So I've, I've done this side all sewn up the whole way down. But this side, I'm actually going to leave... A long open slit so hopefully that will look quite sassy so um yes i'm very excited about finishing it now i know it probably wouldn't take me very long to sew down this oh sorry if you just heard my dog just run from one side of the room to the other <laughs> um <clears throat> probably wouldn't take me very long to do that um but sometimes you need to know when to stop and it's about 10 o'clock at night if i'm absolutely honest i have a banging headache I need to have a big glass of water and I need to get a fairly early night. Um, by the time I've edited this, this probably isn't going to be an early night, is it? But yes, I need to get a reasonably early night and I'm not going to put an alarm on for the morning. I'm going to have a bit of a chill and um, yeah, I will see you tomorrow probably. So I hope you've enjoyed my vlogmas. So I haven't shared any of the actual sewing of this. I might share that tomorrow because I've got the day off and I am definitely going to finish it. So I might do a little bit of a bit of sewing along with you tomorrow if that's okay so i'll see you guys later don't forget to put your favorite sewing vloggers down in the comments below and don't worry about whether they're big small different you know whatever it is that you love about that vlogger just put it in the comments below and i will in the next couple of days like i say try and put a big long list together just like all the other sewing vloggers have been doing too to share the love anyway i will see you later Bye.